Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 83. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Outside link, and you can download the workbook, Business 210, Chapter 8. Hey, we're talking Chapter 8, Confidence Intervals. Look at look, Let's look at an example from advertising. And we're going to use the T distribution. That means sigma population standard deviation is not known. Here's a printer manufacturer. Printer manufacturer is manufacturer of Ink jet printers. Oh, that's an old example, right? Now it would be uh, laser or some other. They would like to include, but this is just as relevant, whatever kind of printer it is. They would like to include as part of their advertising the number of pages a user can expect from an ink cartridge, right? So we've all seen it. We, we look at the ink cartridge or the whatever hundred dollar cartridge they charge us. You know, they charge us 50 bucks for the printer and then a lot for the cartridge. But on the cartridge, it tells you, you know, here's how many you should expect, right? So this is what you do to calculate that. A sample of 10 cartridges uh, was taken in a mean of 2,409 pages and a standard deviation of 304 pages. So that was from our sample data. So how do we build a ca uh, confidence interval? Well, I've done it all here, and there's our little picture. Um, but let's come over here and see it in Excel. Uh, we have mean and a number of samples. So degrees of freedom is always n minus number of samples equals this minus this. We have our confidence interval of 0.95, so let's calculate T. Now, last example for T, we had alpha, which is easy to calculate, but this time we don't want to waste uh, space in our spreadsheet, so we'll just use T inverse. Remember, this is going to give us a T value given a probability. Uh, our probability it has to be the complete alpha. So for us, it'll just be 1 minus that which we already have in the cell. So that'll calculate it right in the T inverse. So there's our al an alpha probability. Our degrees of freedom, we calculated there. Now, if you download, I have notes on this other sheet right there, the first one about how to uh, calculate and what these arguments mean. But there it is. All it needs is alpha and degrees of freedom. So there's our T. There's our sample standard deviation. So we need to calculate our standard error now. So we can eventually calculate our margin of error. That should be in green right there. Uh, equals whatever our sample standard deviation divided by the square root of our n. And don't mix that up. The t functions always need degrees of freedom. But we've been calculating standard error for a couple chapters now. And that's going to, uh, for our standard error, that's going to need the n. So there's our standard error. So for the distribution of sample means, that's going to be our standard deviation. 96 pages, right? Well, that's, that's understandable if we had a uh, uh, original mean up here, x bar of 2,400. All right, our margin of error, that's the amount of below and above this we need to construct our confidence interval. Whatever that standard error is times our t. So there it is, margin of error 217. Now we need to go above and below. I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to say equals this, and I'm going to hit the F4 to lock it, minus, and then I'm going to hit uh, the margin of error F4, and then control enter. It, really, the calculation is minus on one side and plus on one side, but they're always going to be the same value. So I just cheat. I go control enter, and then I double click and change that to a minus. I usually could do that. Oops to a plus, right. I can usually do that faster than building them individually. Now, let's go look at what might be on the package, right? So the, you're going to read something like the customer can expect an average of uh, 2,409 pages per cartridge. Uh, you might see something like the typical usage ranges from 2,192 pages to 2,626. Uh, and that's all you read, but how did they get that? Confidence interval. You also might see this. So this you'd see on the package, right? The average is this, and then down on the little asterisk it says, with a margin of error of 217.45. Now you see this kind of thing in all sorts of packages, all sorts of claims, and that is all about confidence interval. And then here's our other stuffy statistical 
ways that we could describe our conclusions. All right, uh, that's another example for uh, confidence intervals using the T inverse. When we come back, I'll show you uh, the T distribution, but with a built-in feature uh, data analysis. See you next video.